Hey cycling friends, James with Team Finish Strong here again at the battlefield enjoying what could be considered a perfect day out today. Low humidity, low temps, a little breeze, couldn't ask for a better day to get out and go for a walk. I've been here at the battlefield today with my family just catching up a little bit on the history of this hallowed ground. You know, it's a fascinating story when you get to understand just how pivotal this battlefield was in the Revolutionary War and the fight for freedom for our country. So it's a great place to get out and explore, have some time out in nature, just see even just the many different varieties of trees we have here in South Carolina. It's fascinating. But the story behind the battle is even more interesting because it is one of the only times in history that a successful double entrapment or double encirclement took place and it took place here at the Battle of Cowpens. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for you folks so you can check out some more of the history of this place. But today, and I guess not uh, too far off the subject of the Battle of Cowpens, is the subject of finishing strong. You know, this battle was in a sense a very important part of why the American Revolution finished successfully and we won our independence. And so today's topic of reflection of finishing strong I think is very appropriate. You know, we call ourselves Team Finish Strong and there's a reason for that. You know, what does it mean to finish strong? I think if you asked a hundred different people you'd probably get a hundred different answers. Some might say it's um, checking off every bucket list item that they've had. Others, it could be um, leaving a lasting legacy for the next generation. For some, it's being able to experience that once in a lifetime experience that you've always wanted to have. But for us as Christians, the significance of finishing strong goes much deeper than that even. Because for us, it's connected inexorably with our relationship with Christ. Without Jesus, we would never be able to finish strong. And what do we mean by that? It means that the story of our life comes to a conclusion where Christ is the victor and we are the bride of Christ, we've been ransomed by His blood, and we get to spend eternity in relationship with Him, where everything is made new, everything is made right. And I could go off on a lot of rabbit trails on that subject, but what I want to discuss, or what I want to emphasize, rather, on today's reflection, is the fact that there is a purpose for living. God created all of this beautiful uh, nature around us. He created this earth. He created it with purpose. He created it for a reason. He created us for a reason. To live in relationship with Him. And it's only in relationship with God through Christ that we get to experience that. We get to experience the wonder of everything that he's created we see his design and his purpose in it and we get to experience joyful purposeful living beyond anything we could have imagined now granted this world's not perfect right <laughs> Jesus said even that in this world we would have tribulation but the things that God originally created us for and the reason he created this earth for are plainly evident here, especially here, even in a place where such darkness reigned in terms of uh, a place of conflict that we commemorate and we memorialize here at the Calpens National Battlefield. But there's signs of God's design and wonder and His creation and His good purposes even here that we can see today. So what I encourage you if you don't know the joy of living in relationship with Christ, I would encourage you to get to know who Jesus is. And in so doing, you can say one day that your journey 
too will finish strong. Finish strong, and that's your thought for the week.